Hey guys, Ultimate Deadpool here, back with another video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my last video when I reviewed the Legos Tumblr. Um, the newest one that recently just came out, not the big ass, uh, highly expensive one uh, that comes with Heath Ledger's Joker. I do not actually have that one out of my entire Batmobile collection, oddly enough. Today we're going to be looking at one of my custom creations. Um, this is, uh, well actually this was modeled after... Well, started to be modeled after uh, Sam from Jetpack Joyride, the strong arm machine. For those of you who play Jetpack Joyride, you can uh, collect three letters that it spells out Sam, and then you get a vehicle that kind of looks like this, uh, the strong arm machine, uh, or Sam. Um, and it's literally just a arm with tank treads. Um, I was originally going to try to do the Battleshell version or the Cowabunga version uh, for the Ninja Turtles side of it, um, but it just kind of evolved into this. Um, I am still doing another Ninja Turtles vehicle. Like I said in my last video, I'm doing two different Ninja Turtles vehicles. One for Metalhead, one for the actual Turtles. Um, because while I love my standard battle shell, um, this to me just doesn't uh, fit all the Turtles. Because it only fits you know one driver and then like maybe two or three guys in the back, if that. Um, this set has been through hell, but... It's actually held up rather well through, for it being a almost 20-year-old set. Um, actually, as of next year, it will be. <laughs> but anyway, um, so let's go ahead and break this down, and I'll show you guys kind of all the little features and stuff that this little thing has. Because this thing actually does have quite a bit of features, despite its horrible, ugly, multicolor look at the moment. It will not stay multicolored if it shows up in a video. So, nice thing about this is the top of it can rotate uh, without turning the tank treads that are on the bottom of it because there's a plate uh, on there so that way I can actually use this as two different vehicles. I can use this as a standard tank and I can always just pop this off, pop the tank piece on, boom, there you go. Pop this off, put the tank thing, put this thing back on, boom, and there you go. It's a strong arm machine. So, a little bit of a unique customizable ability for, my, for myself. Um, I do customize stuff like this all the time and there's quite a bit of stuff going up on the bottom as well a little bit more details there and then a little bit more details there i've had these pieces for years never really could figure out what to use them for they actually came off a mega block ninja turtle set uh, that i've had for several years um could not figure out what to do with them because i don't remember what happened to that original particular set uh, but I had the pieces lying around. I found both of them in a box and said, screw it, let's add them to the tank. Uh, and then there's all these pieces up here for a later date. So, um, all in all, uh, basic, basic, basic build. It's just a hexagon, uh, the hexagonal piece from like Hogwarts, uh, old Hogwarts sets and whatnot. Obviously, the Hogwarts walls and then some stuff built up to kind of block all the spaces. Um, I believe this orange piece up here, you can correct me in the comments down below if I get it wrong, I believe is actually from a Lego City's Krang, uh, Crane. I don't. I could be wrong. Um, so if, if I get it wrong, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, this uh, top piece came off of like, a, I think it's a Ninja Turtles alien invasion or just an alien ship entirely. I don't remember. Uh, then there's the computer stuff, uh, computers and whatnot, uh, so the whoever's driving this thing can control everything inside the cockpit. Um, bionicle arms, obviously, on ball joints that connect to the main body. Two different versions of the hands. Uh, these do actually hold minifigures. I made sure of that, um, and I'm actually going to use. I'm actually going to use this for my third part of my third and final part of the target deadpool series uh you guys have been bug uh, begging me to make a part three uh of that series so i'm waiting until the third year anniversary of that series to ca happen so that's actually going to be closer to july which i know is terrible timing but um it, this will be a fa uh, machine that is used in it um, I'm not going to say who's driving it, and I'm not going to say who's going to be targeting Deadpool this time, but just know it's someone who's our... I will say this, it's somebody familiar. Well, 
familiar. So, but, um, and anyway, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> Let's get into some of the features this thing has. Uh, for one, it's got this uh, Mega Block. Uh, I think this came off a Spider-Man Mega Block set. Or no, this came off, yeah, these, both of these came off of Spider-Man sets. Um, this one came off of like a magnet Spider-Man that had like Lego pieces mixed in with it. Uh, then the bullet came off of a um, Amazing Spider-Man Mega Block set. Um, and then it's a uh, machine gun on top for that's entirely posable. Um, I took basic little pillar pieces up, oops, shit, up top here, shoved, shoved them onto minifigure legs, and then put the legs up here for a aimable, rotatable shotgun like thing on top. Fuel cells. Um, kind of looks like a jetpack to be honest. Uh, there were antennas on top of this, on top of this, but they uh, fell off, and I don't remember what happened to them. Um, and then, obviously, a light for seeing. So, and then energy, energy blasts, stuff like that. Pretty basic stuff. Um, I didn't go too far. I didn't go all out with this particular build like I normally do with some of my other custom creations. You know, oddly enough, like the uh, Cyber Turtles party wagon or the Cyber Turtles van. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is actually one of my brothers says that he uh, all but sold to me because um, I told him I'd use it quite a bit of times, and I actually have used this quite a bit of times, and I plan to use it continuously in the future. This is actually the van that the Cyber Turtles will drive uh, while Metalhead will get his own vehicle because at that point in the story, he's obviously separated from Shredder and everybody else, and he doesn't really want to be a part of it. So, And then recently, I just added exhaust pipes to it uh, by doing smokestacks on the bottom. Uh, don't ask why Green Goblin's up there because I don't know the answer to that. But this actually was a Michael Bay's Ninja Turtle set um, that... We had a long time ago, and long story short, it broke. I fixed it, and I turned it. Ended up eventually becoming into this. Um, all ba not too bad, all things considered. If I do say so myself, it still looks like something the Ninja Turtles would drive. But in this case, it's actually the Cyber Turtles. Same generic thing with this. This is the Mega Block um, Ninja Turtles uh, Battle Shell. Um, long story short, um, this broke several times um and i got tired of trying to f i couldn't find the instructions for it so i just kind of got the basis put together and then i just kind of added pieces from there until it became this and it's been like this for the last five and a half years so yeah that's kind of where it leads uh you can get the minifigures into the truck from the top you can pop this piece off to put somebody in the driver's seat, which it does actually hold a Ninja Turtle because that's who's supposed to drive it from the original set. Um, and then also this back part uh, opens up so you can stick minifigures and cargo and stuff in the back as well. Uh, and it works just as well. So most of this set is actually original. So for those of you who do know what that Lego Battle Shell looked like uh, in 2003 when it did come out, this is kind of what it still looks like. It's a little bit different, but it's virtually the same thing. So, it's actually survived uh, all this time, um, which is kind of cool. So, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, like I said, I do have a, another LEGO project I'm in the works on. I will go ahead and reveal it to you, but just trust me on this. Okay, so this is the actual build so far. Uh, for the new uh, quote unquote battle shell I'm building. Um, now you might recognize what this thing is going to be modeled after. Um, somebody at the at my place of business that I work at, I work at Home Depot, um, said that I should have done my truck as a Ninja Turtles truck uh, instead of a Ghostbusters truck like it ended up becoming. For those of you who don't know, I drive a Chevy Avalanche that is actually decked out entirely in ghostbuster stuff um it is as accurate to the original car as i can as i could do 
But somebody suggested turning it into, or instead of doing Ghostbusters, I should have done Ninja Turtles. Because um, I was wearing a Ninja Turtles sweatshirt at the time. And uh, I got me thinking, and I wanted to see what it would kind of look like if I were to do something like that. And since I was need going to do another vehicle uh, for the Ninja Turtles anyway, I decided to go ahead and just do this instead. So this is the blueprint for what hopefully this will become. <laughs> um... It may not look quite exactly like this, but it's going to be pretty damn close, uh, as or as close as I can make it, uh, because obviously there's only so much you can do with Lego. The only thing I think is going to give me a pain in the ass is going to be the front end. Literally, just the, this this part is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, the rest of it should actually be fairly easy. Uh, the doors will not open, and the uh, tailgate will open if I can figure out how to do it as well as the tunnel covers that are back here will be able to come off as well. Um, for those of you who don't know, my truck does have covers. That There are three covers, um, and all three come off, so that way you can have an open bed, uh, and so on and so forth. So this is what I'm going to try to do, and hopefully it works out for the best. So, yay. Uh, like I said, pretty much it for this video, so let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys are excited for me to build this uh turtle van or tur party avalanche or whatever you want to call this thing the cowabunga avalanche um whatever um let me know down in the comments below or i'll put it as a poll um so like i said this is what i've done so far and that's about it that's about all the pieces i have that i can use for it so yeah i've got a long way to go <laughs> well i i got a long way to go but anyway Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys all later on Ultimate Deadpool. Peace out. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you guys all later. Bye.